Hello and welcome to another JunoViewer webinar. Today, we will take a quick trip through the JunoViewer mobile application, focusing on the photo logger. In this webinar, we will demonstrate where to download the JunoViewer mobile application and what you will need to log into the mobile app. We will work through the functionality of the photo logger app in the new JunoViewer mobile app. And we will sync photos to JunoViewer and look at the places we can view the images in JunoViewer. We will also look at some examples of what can be done and has been done with the mobile app. We don't expect this webinar to be longer than 15 minutes, including questions. The JunoViewer mobile application is available as part of the features available to all JunoViewer clients. There are no limitations on the number of app downloads and anyone with a JunoViewer username and password can log into the mobile application. The JunoViewer app is available on Android and iOS, and you can download it from both the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. Just search for JunoViewer and download the app. Um, help information on the use of the photo logger is available in the JunoViewer um, help forum, and you can go to the JunoViewer help forum on help.junoviewerweb.com and search for the photo logger. We'll take a look at the photo logger in action now. So I'm going to just share my mobile screen. There we go. I've already logged in. Um, so on the home page of the mobile application, you will see the photo logger as a start. And if any of the other um, forms were configured for your account, that would also show there. The little sandwich icon in the top right hand corner uh, allows you to go to your settings menu as well as uh, sync your records and log out. And in the account settings, um, this will show you how you want the app to sync data based on connectivity. So whether you want to sync your data with, regardless of whether you're within Wi-Fi range or not where the app is used to capture or inspect off-road assets, um, you will define what the range is, um, or the radius is uh, within which you want to see these assets. And at this moment, it's set to 100 meters. Um, it'll use your device location as the center point and show you all the previously captured assets. So remember, this relates to um, assets or forms that were set up specifically for your account. Furthermore, there's also a setting on how you want to capture the comments in the photo logger, and we'll focus more on that in a minute. So if we go back, this little icon here um, on this in the top right hand corner just refreshes your account settings. That allows you if your permission settings have changed since the last time you logged into the app that would download in that case. And the little cloud icon um, updates the app specific or the app card. So in this case, the photo logger. If you clicked on that, you just just refresh the data related to the photo logger. So if you go into the photo logger, you can tap on the little plus to start a new record, and then we can tap on the camera to capture a record. So considering that I am indoors, the GPS might take a while to synchronize. As you can see, it's telling me that the GPS accuracy is 22 meters. It's giving me the option to either continue or retry. And in my case, I'm just gonna continue. And it would now provide me the option to capture. If I then, um, I then take a picture and I click on the little tick mark to capture that picture. I also have, once it uploads, and depending on the size of the picture, it might take a while. Once it's uploaded, you can go, go next, or you can add another photograph. You, can, you will notice that you can add one from the gallery as well. Then you keep in mind that the JunoView mobile application tags all of the records captured with, it, uh, with the mobile application with GPS. So if you're gonna upload data or a photograph from your mobile application, and you're not close to the section on your network the photo relates to, rather upload it using the photo viewer, which we'll show you a bit later. Once you've tapped on the next button um, on the screen, on this screen, you can select previously added comments, or you can use the toggle button 
um, that allows you to type free text. So at the moment, it's set to select comments and I have um, previously uploaded comments or I can toggle that button and I can use free text. If I wanted to add um, a comment that I would use normally like potholes would be a recurring comment, I can use it and say potholes and I click on the little plus and it would be form part of my comments and I can just say submit. The next item you will select is a tag. These tags are um, uploaded for you by Laundrick support and you can select any number of tags that you want to use um, to submit as part of this record. There's workflow behind this as well that you can um, have configured so that if you choose to allow a specific person or let a specific person know of an action or a problem on their section of road, they can do that. So once you have so, uh, selected save, Genevieve will ask you if you want to sync now or sync later, subject to your selection in the settings. The record will be synced immediately if you select sync. If you choose only to sync it on the Wi-Fi, it will sync as soon as you are in, you are in Wi-Fi range. While the record is in sync pending state, you will have the option to view, edit, or delete the record. So, we'll move on to the photo viewer now. So once we've synchronized our data the, uh, to the server, you can view the record in the photo viewer page, in the forecast view, as well as the network map. We'll take a quick look at each of these locations to see if we can see the record um, that we will sync using the photo viewer. So let's go to the photo viewer. Let's start the photo viewer is under the manage menu and you can go to photo viewer. I've set up or selected a specific network that I want uh, or the section that I want this photo to relate to. So I select my network, the section, the subsection, and I can view images. So let's see if there are any images captured in the last two days for that specific section. We can see there is one. If I want to upload an image, it's going to ask me what is the image tag. Let's just leave it at action required. I want to make it for RP290, which is the RP close to me, and we'll just say this is a mechanical damage. I now go to add file and we have a photo that we want to add. I tell it to start the upload and the image is then uploaded to Juno Viewer. Now, if I view images again for the same section, I'll see my photograph. Another place I can view the photo in is in the network map. So I will open the network map, select the specific section that I want to look at. I'm going to limit it to the section in that I mentioned earlier. I select the photos layer and I will say I want to view all the photos uploaded from 20 July to 22 July. Once I click view, you can see that there's a photo there and there's one of the photos that I uploaded. This is the previous one we uploaded. Another, the last place where we can view the photo is in the forecast view. If we go into the forecast view page, I'll select my network and a forwardworks program. Again, in this case, I have elected to limit the, um, the, the sections that we're looking at so that we can easily find our um, photo. So it's right here at the bottom. If I click on the little photo icon, I can see there's the image captured with my test comment. And there's the one that I just got, uh, captured a minute ago using the photo um, viewer. So help information on the photo viewer is available also in help.genoviewerweb.com. So the JunoViewer mobile application is essentially it's in, intended to digitize processes currently done on paper with a clipboard and pen in the field. 
Workflows can be configured in Juno Viewer based on the data captured. So if a maintenance action is needed based on a visual inspection, the person responsible for that section can be alerted by email or in a Juno Viewer dashboard. Reports for maintenance, off-road asset inspections, etc., can be extracted from Juno Viewer and the data is even available as part of the modeling process if required. An example, specific example of this is the configuration of the bridge inspection app based on specific guidelines for a client. The ability to inspect the bridges on a per element level with different types of inspections, uh, principles, detailed inspections, with photographs for a, um, on a per element level is one of the um, configurations that we've done. The data is synchronized back to Juno Viewer, and this is then used in analysis and reports. The reports are configured based on what the norm and the process of the client is at that stage. Clients have asked us to configure various forms and processes in the Juno Viewer mobile application, and this ranges from maintenance management processes, off road asset inspections, accident and incident management, and so forth. Um, all of these configurations are based and the forms, the fields, the database, everything is based on what the existing processes of the clients are. That brings us to the end of today's webinar. Thank you for joining us. We welcome any feedback or questions. As usual, the recording of this webinar will be uploaded to YouTube soon. Thank you. Bye.